It's a pleasure to welcome up for the first time on our show, Peter Wilson. Peter. Maybe you don't know what to do with that microphone, well, huh? There's, there's no way to stick it, so, you know, I'm just holding it. Mm, okay, well, I guess well, we can live with that for a while. Well, yeah. With all the situations you've been in lately, that's a piece of cake, right? I can handle this. Yeah. It's fun. You know that she's from the island of New Guinea? Now, I never met anybody who was born on New Guinea. Well, actually, I wasn't born in New Guinea. I was ah. born in Sydney, and I moved there when I was about a year old. My father was in the military, worked for the special services. Gotcha. And I moved to New Guinea when I was about a year and lived there for like eight years. And what was that like? It was great. We had a very different upbringing. We didn't um, have television or music. We mm -hmm. had, mom and dad had all, these, had all these old eight tracks. My brother and I would sort of lip sync to Liza Minnelli and Neil Diamond. And, sure. and we lived, um, we had, there was two houses on our street, so uh -huh. us and a colonel. And uh, we went down the street to, there was a small river and across the river was a village. So we lived right. Wow, you know. were almost in, almost in the jungle area there, uh, well, snakes and animals and mosquitoes and yeah, all, all those thing. things. Well, we, the house, well, there was a cane field, a sugar cane field, and the, the house was cut out, the, the yard was cut out of the sugar cane field, yeah. so our house was there, and every morning our native friends would come and clear, and clear the backyard for snakes and cane toads, and nice. of course, for some reason in Papua New Guinea, it's on the equator, everything is... Um, very big there. It's it's kind of prehistoric. So the snakes are not like normal snakes. They're that big, oh and the gosh. cane toads are that big. Oh. And of course, I was forced. So everything looked so much bigger. But <laughs> you know, we didn't we didn't really uh, we weren't frightened of those kinds of predators. Uh -huh. So it was when we came to the cities, where we sort of educated about when well, no people are more dangerous than animals. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Yeah. You learn that in a hurry around yeah. here. You kind of well, actually, I had heard about Peter before because. Uh, uh, she's a friend of my daughter's, Tani, and and uh, my daughter Tani is an actress, and she is a friend with Peter. So when Tani comes to visit me in L.A., she was always talking about oh, you. Oh wow! And so it was a really funny oh, coincidence that well, I was, was going to get to meet you. you on the show today. Well, I rang you yesterday. I was going to say you'll never guess I'm meeting your mom. <laughs> and Tani's like, okay. <laughs> and uh, I was going to say something. I yes, thought maybe yes, I wouldn't. No, no, no. Oh, yes, I love her. Nice. She's great. She's How's she doing? Friend. Oh, she's doing really well. She's doing Thank well. you. Yeah, she's she's a, a beautiful of girl. Very beautiful. Movies. But I was interested in your name because it's such an unusual one. How did you get that name? Um, well, actually, it was it's, it's based on an Italian name, Pieta. And when I was born, my father was in out in the bush in the middle of nowhere. And by the time he got the message that his mother, my mother had a baby named Peter, oh. my father thought he had a boy. Because, of course, the Australians look at Pieta and they go, Pieta, what kind of name's that? <laughs> so it turned into Peter. <laughs> By the time Dad got it, I was a boy. He came into town, very excited. He has a son. My mother went, well, no, it's a little girl. He turned me into a boy anyway, but that was the name that I was stuck with. And it also turned out that Miss Australia 1970 was called Peter Tapano. So yeah. I was kind of named after her. Why not? Oh, you know. And it, incidentally, is trained in many of the martial arts, which you probably see her perform in, in this series. And when we come back... I want to learn something about the martial arts, okay? Okay. We'll be right back.